Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another review of Boku no Hero Academia, aka Boku no Greatness, aka Boku no Goat, aka My Hero Academia. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. So this chapter, there was so much stuff and revelations that we got of people's quirks and all that stuff in this chapter, and of course, our princess, our Yandere princess. Toga was there. So let's get right into the review. The first point I want to talk about though is how Overhaul is such an intelligent and cunning person. When he was playing Shogi, well not really with Shigaraki because Shigaraki didn't know the rules of the game. He was like the thing about Shogi is how you utilize the pieces you take away from your opponent. This guy is strong, intelligent, and that's great combination because he doesn't just rely on his strength he's not even fighting at this moment which shows you that shigaraki could fight if he um not shigaraki which shows you that shisaki could fight if he wanted to but he, he doesn't need to even Fagum was like if um rapa lost to shisaki so many times why doesn't he just fight himself because you got to realize rapa is not a fodder rapa it took all Fat Gum had to defeat Rappa, plus, of course, Kirishima helped in the process. So, Shisaki, he's a strategist. I did say that, I remember I said this a long time ago where I was discussing My Hero Academia with my good friend Kirotaku, where I just said if, like, the pro heroes or whatever are closing in on Shigaraki, I keep saying Shigaraki, Shisaki, then he will um, run away. And then my good friend, Kid, uh, he said that no, he will stay and fight because he's not that type of person. It's not about being a type of person and showing your bravado and your pride and stuff. It's about being an intelligent person, being a strategist, and that's what Shisaki is. Yes, he could stay there and probably beat a bunch of the pro heroes and still escape in the process, but it's better for him to escape now because he has, he has the larger go in mind he has his plan in motion already he's thinking of the future he's not even thinking about the events that are transpiring right now as he's running away he's thinking of getting a profit putting his plan into actions and um decapitating the heroes making them fearful of him and plus this anti-hero drug anti-court drug that is finally perfected we could assume that so that's why i really think that shisaki is a really um great villain one of the best villains of my hero academia thus far and i see way more potential for him we haven't even got a backstory of this guy we did we haven't we don't even have the pinnacle of his character like when he takes off the mask and stuff like i cannot wait for um more crazy stuff to happen now the second point i want to talk about is toga um i'm i'm not going to talk too much but toga is definitely uh, very, very strong, very strong and acrobatic person. I have a discussion about Toga that will be uh, uploaded probably next week or whatever when I have time to make it. And I got high hopes for her. She did great against Aizawa and <laughs> Midoriya's like just standing there like frozen in fear. It's like Toga, and she was like, "Oh, you remember me, dear?" I was like, "Oh man!" Like their relationship, Toga. I mean, the Rio's relationship is type kind of weird. It is, it's a weird relationship. Now, so far, the other point I want to talk about is that this arc is really good right now. Um, after the Fat Gum and Kirishima stuff, things are a bit slow right now. Even though you can say, oh man, all this stuff happened. I know all this stuff happened. But, I mean, like, it, it's just setting up um, a lot of events that are going to happen later on because now Inaka. Um, is working with Toga and stuff and twice is hyped up and he's gonna fight Sir Night Eye I'm really excited to see how Sir Night Eye fights because you got to remember that he's a tactician And he did help All Might when he was All Might's sidekick by coming up with plans for All Might to defeat villains in more quick and effective manner like That I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I have a feeling that Sir Night Eye is gonna fight like Deku fights just thinking really like really rapidly and his quirk, it could be utilized for fighting because he could, you know, predict the future, like, events and stuff. So, if that's the case, he could probably dodge attacks easily like he did against 
um, Deku when Deku actually went to his hero agency. I just remember that. So way that was a long time ago, but yeah. Um, that's all I have to say for this review. And I really like the chapter. It was set up for events to come later on. And I really like this arc. So far, if I were to rate the arc, even though it's not done, it'll be a 7.5 out of 10. Now, this chapter for me was a 7 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, remember to have a great day. Peace.